Hello, my lovely people, and welcome back to our survival world. And today, I'm going to finish the list, which I couldn't do last episode because I had some IRL busyness going on. But don't don't bother with that. But the first thing I have a good bucket list to do. And in case you're wondering what my bucket list is, here's a quick second of it. But anyway, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by, I need to clean, I need to clean my land. I'm, I've been putting off terraforming that and this for the longest time that I need to like really bad because this house just does not look good with this <laughs> mess next to it. And if you're wondering, hey, how are you going to do that with mediocre tools? Well, too bad I'm doing it with mediocre tools. And as you can see in here, oh, wrong one. As you can see in here, I made a lot more iron. So I'll be able to do a lot more tool smithing and get, hopefully, most of this hill down how I want it to. So I might time lapse this, time lapse this but I might not. But... You'll see when I do it. Alrighty guys, so I have finished, somewhat finished, the terraforming right here. I made like a slow incline path going up towards the top. I also did this steep like curve going all the way around and then it like it slowly goes back into the hill over here and what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need more stone to like actually decorate this to make it look nice like this edge because it kind of just looks bland right now and a bit messy but as you can see we this is a lot wider now we can actually see like all of this area and what a, so yeah, I need a lot of stone and how I'm going to do that is I have 24 iron left and I have some wood. I'm going to craft two hoppers and a furnace. If I'm right, blocks of coal smelt more, but I ain't really worried about that. Okay, so I'm just going to put it right here for now. Two chests with a hopper, with a furnace, with a hopper, with a chest. Like this. This is like our step into our auto, our first steps into automation. As you see, I got a lot of cobblestone. <laughs> I'm gonna get eight stacks of cobblestone and shove it into here. And now we are going to be smelting it, kind of like automation. And plus, I need to sleep real quick. And as y'all can see, um, I got my second goat horn. And I think that's like. Another one of the worst horns that they have in the game. So I am going to need to get a <laughs> more. But hey, if I can get all the goat horns, that's pretty nice. But yeah. So while we are waiting for all of this to smelt. The issue is I only have 14 iron left. After like that stack of iron that I had. I only have 14 iron left. Even like the iron I got from terraforming that. So, I am running out of resources as we speak. I really don't feel like going back mining. I don't know, I'm just being lazy today. But, there's a lot of coal right here, so if I need coal, I have a place to come get it. But, I guess what I should be doing is, I need to go back into the mine shaft, mine a bunch more iron. Hopefully this continues cooking while I'm away. Probably not, but we'll try. And yeah, I'll see y'all when I'm ready for the next step. Hui. Now, after a mining trip, we were able to get not one, not two, but three stacks of iron. And we also got the coal to burn it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use our little campfire, or little hidden things right here. I like to use the exact number of coal because I'm... A little weird. And like that we're going to get some iron burning. 
And I don't think our stone did that much work while we were in the caves because we were pretty far away. Yeah, not much. So yeah, this is this is going to take a long while to finish. But yeah. But anyways, while I let all this um do its magic, I'm gonna continue working on my iron and start working on these hills right here. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Alright, so I have Terraform, as you can see, a lot of this hill. Kind of smoothed it out a little bit, slowly going up, and let's see, this is the part I just finished. Slowly going down, and also I'm going to add a, a cliffside right here as well, or a hill right here, like stone wall side, I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, I'm going to do some stone terraforming right here. I built out all down this way I like filled in everything a little bit as you see it looks a lot different from what it looked like before and I was still able to keep my house here I want to keep this here so I just try to terraform without having to mess that up but yeah honestly looking good and I have all my stone cooked up so I have Eight stacks of stone and I'm going to be using this to terraform some stuff that I need to terraform this mountain right here is not done yet as you can you can kind of tell that it's not done and yeah so I'm gonna start with the stone terraforming first and I want to go to sleep so yeah stone terraforming who that looks so much more better I added the pathway, I did like a little bit of stone terraforming, of course it's not the best, but you know, I like the cliffside wall. It comes all the way around right here, and like I said before, it slowly like transfers back into the hill right here. Which I'm going to fix this up still, now you see all this, this land's a mess. I, I do want to flatten this out, or like clean it up at least, because this is a lot of land that I would like to use. Let's see, I have all this snow area over here, I want to... Oh god, uh, 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 don't worry, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, ow, I'm fine, 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 I'm fine. Is that just literally, all of the snow right here is just powdered snow, like there's no other like regular snow around, I mean, yeah, wait, yeah, this is all just powder, okay, man, I'm smart, but anyways, uh, yeah, I wanna, I'm going to plan on chopping down all these trees in the future. And I want to clean up this land so I can make some farmland right here. And also build some more houses across this hillside. Which I think would look pretty nice. But other than that, yeah dude, I am really liking my stone hill right here. And I decided to make this little path right here just so I can get on top when I need to. Instead of, because the last time I would... Every time I would try to get up there, I would always parkour on, like, my leaves right here. Just to, like, get up. So having this pathway makes life a lot easier. I need to build more trees over there, like, on top of this hill and then in here. But I'm not going to build the trees until I build my houses. Because I don't want to place a tree down and then I want a house there and then, yeah. So the, f the foliage will be the last step in my building process. Right now, it's just the terraforming step. And as you guys can see over here, between all this lovely nature, I also kind of like cleaned up this hill a little bit. As you can see, I did did like a like a unique type of terraforming right here. I thought it looks pretty nice. It slowly goes down right here, which that means we can build something on top of this land right here now. And also, as you can see right here, I have another stone wall right here coming down and this is what I have right now of course it's not the best because it stops right there but I will plan on continuing it and fixing this canyon up but I'm still on iron tools I <laughs> this is already a lot I don't want to push myself with just iron tools I'm gonna wait until like I get like my full god set in a way but yeah I got this done now the thing I do want to do next is I'm pretty sure I have the materials for it is I need to finish this section of the house because I've been putting this this is the last section I've been putting it off for a while 
I need to build it so I can terraform this section right here and also build this section right here. Because if I don't, it's just going to look like a mess. So, anyways, yeah, well, let's get to it. Alrighty guys, so this is the bedroom section right here and as you can see we got a staircase going up to like a little porch making it look really good and apologize for the noise in the background but sorry. As you can see walking here this is going to be the bedroom. Uh, of course there's no decoration in here yet but I will get to the interior decoration sooner or later. But honestly with that I believe that like the main like outside of the house is done just gonna do like a little 3d rotation oh. Uh. oh my god really game oh god damn it I was so close to 30 levels too uh, give me a second <laughs> all right let's try that again as you can see, this is the complete exterior of my base. Just giving you a s rotation, a slow rotation of the entire base. And yeah, I'm I'm really happy with how it came out. Of course, it's still not 100% done, because I still want to add more trees around, but I'll probably do that on my own time, because the trees are a little time consuming. But yeah, honestly, the base could not come out any better than it has it has. I I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> but yeah, now since this is done, I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Like I'm technically finished with like the outside of the house. I can just take my time, do my interior decoration, and just like slowly continue. As you see, I've been cooking a bunch of food in here, just like any animals that are around. I just, um, start murdering. <laughs> but, honestly, it's starting to become a little annoying to run around and hunt for my own food. Of course, mob spawn, so it's not too, too bad. But, yeah. So what I'm thinking about is adding my, making myself a little wheat farm, like around right here. And I feel like that's going to be... A good source of food for now on so I don't have to keep on running around getting my own food so yeah let's get this done all right so I got myself a little wheat farm my AC wants to kick on right when I want to start the video which is hilarious 
But um, yeah, I don't have much wheat to fill this up, and also it's not really that like pretty looking. But I just wanted something. This is gonna be a temporary wheat farm. I want to put my farm somewhere else, but this should be a good spot for now, just so I can have some wheat to like feed myself instead of murdering the population of livestock or animals around my land. So we're just gonna keep on growing that out as the series goes on, and then. Once I can fill that farm up, I'll be able to make more farms and stuff. And, yeah. But, yeah. That's all done. And, so, honestly, I do want to finish this um, real quick. Of course, it, I just want, it's not like it's much. I'm just going to build, the, like, the roofing on top of this. So, let me get that done real quick. Alrighty, guys. So, I have finished the little roofing on the mine shaft section. As you can see, it looks a little blocky, but I kind of like it like that. And I also stripped the logs up here, and I put the trap doors to, like, separate it a little bit. Because I like the lighter tin up here. So, yeah, we're going to have the elevator. Like, we're going to have some cross beams come across the logs for the elevator part. But, honestly, I think that's all I'm going to do today. Sorry this was a shorter video, but terraforming takes a long time to do, so... I apologize for that, but I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.